Stop recording. Hey guys, so today I'm going to basically give you a driving lesson. So, <clears throat> um, so I was talking to one of my friends the other day, and I was really surprised when I heard he couldn't start a car. So, I told him I'd show him how, and that just reminded me, hey, I should probably do a driving lesson on YouTube for other people that don't know how to start a car. Um, so I thought I'd just do this for some people that don't know how to start the car. Um, I showed him how to do it. Well, I told him how to do it. Um, so he knows now, but I thought I'd do it for those of you that don't know. So let's, um, first talk about starting the car. What I started out with. <clears throat> okay. So what you want to do is, um, so with an automatic transmission, you want to put the key in the ignition and then just turn it to the right. And when the car starts, you immediately let go of the key and the car is started. Uh, with manual transmission, you want to press the clutch all the way down to the floor. The clutch has to be all the way down to the floor. And then you have to turn the key to the right, and the car starts, and you can release the clutch. <clears throat> but if you're in, like, first gear, and you release the clutch in a manual car, you will automatically start moving. Um, so I'd recommend being, if you're a new driver, and you don't want to move, you just want to sit there and get used to your car, then I'd recommend being in neutral when you're driving. And you'll be his automatic has letters to show you what gear you're in. Like P is for park, R is for reverse, D is for drive, and then you have one and two, um, or you have I and L, which means intermediate, which is one and two uh, combined, and then low, low gear. Okay, so that's for automatic. But manual transmission has no letters, so what you need to be able to do is know the gears very well. So when you're in neutral, the shifter should be able to like wiggle from side to side that's how you tell you're in neutral okay so what you want to do when you're in neutral is put your foot all the way down on the clutch start the car and then so the car started but with automatic just keep it in park um don't have to put your foot on nothing just turn the key and the car uh all automatically start and just let go as soon as it starts um okay so then but with older cars if you like because you can turn it a little bit more when the car starts on my car it doesn't it doesn't do it on my car but with older cars it will make a horrible sound if you just turn the key a little more after you start it you have to immediately let go same as with newer cars um it's just the best option so you should hold it hold the key until the car starts and immediately let go <clears throat> so then when the car started automatic um if you want to just drive around then just um what you'll want to do i notice some people mix up the gas and the brake so, I'm going to just help you with that quickly. So, um, the brake is, like, wider, and the gas is kind of taller. And then, um, and I know people mix up neutral and reverse. So, some people, I used to do this too, um, but I don't anymore. So, it's park, reverse, neutral, drive, intermediate, and low, or one, two. So, um... Some people think it's park, neutral, reverse, drive, intermediate, low, or one, two. So, um, it's actually park, reverse, neutral, drive, intermediate, low, or in some cars, one, two, at the bottom, okay, um, for the gears. And then, that's it. So, you want to put the car in to drive or reverse, um, whatever way you're planning to go. And then, as soon as you get out of your driveway, if you're reversing, then put it in drive quickly because if there's cars behind you, then they don't want to be sitting there while you put your foot on the brake or take your time to put the car in drive. So just put it in reverse, go down the driveway, put it in drive quick, and then just keep going. Um, so you don't want to be, like, slow, changing gears and all that. Um, but then just keep driving, and then... Um, I know there's a lot of people, like, do rolling stops, like stop signs and that. That, very, that really annoys me because it's just annoying when people have to do rolling stops at signs and all that. But, um, sometimes there's yielding signs, and some of you might not know what that means. But, a yielding sign is where you have to slow down to pedestrians if they're coming, but if there's no pedestrians, then you have, to, you can go. You have the right way to go. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and another thing is lights. So when you're coming up to a light, some drivers, when you're new, because I know, I knew one person that did this, um, because we in the, like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say the exact experience, but, um, like, some drivers, this, um, like, some drivers, they just, um, like, the light is, um, red, well, sorry, it's green, and they're about to go through, 
and it turns yellow at the last second and they want to be able to stop and they're already like halfway through some of them will stop right in the middle of the intersection okay that's not safe if if it's yellow you can still go you are recommended to stop but if you if you have to stop in the middle of the intersection that's not safe so what you have to do is just keep going because it's not safe to stop in the middle of the intersection um another thing is um new drivers tend to be a little more cautious which is okay but um they think some drivers like for all you that are scared to drive um like i know what's going through your head right now oh no i'm gonna crash the car i'm not good but if you really think about it it's very unlikely to happen because out of um like out of 100 percent, it's probably only like i don't know uh let's see probably like a 10% chance that that would happen out of 100%, okay? So, I doubt it would happen. Um, but, yeah, that's basically all that. Um, and this is for any driver, really. Some of them tend to forget their, to use their turn signals. So I recommend using them, even if there's no cars behind them, because you can get pulled over for that, okay, people? Like, I just recommend doing that. Um, but, yeah, I recommend doing that. Um, and seatbelts. Some people forget to wear seatbelts, and that's why I like newer cars, because they go ding, 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 ding. People forget to wear them, they go, mom, 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 mom. Like they ding at you. When you forget to wear your seatbelt, and they're like, put your seatbelt on, put your dang seatbelt on. So, some people forget to do that. And that's not good, because you can get in a car crash, and that's not good. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend wearing your seatbelt at all times, even when there's no cars around, just in case something were to happen, okay? Um, but s s people like to do all these, like, f fast, like, they like to race other people, and, like, oh, my car is, like, the best, I'm, like, gonna go super fast and put everyone in danger. No, that's not the way you do stuff, because, uh, the main thing when you're driving is just being safe, because, um... Like, a car accident's the most thing you have to really worry about. The main thing when you're driving is just being safe, okay? Like, some people just might think, oh, I don't have to be safe. I can just put everyone in danger because I want to drive my car 100 miles an hour in the 60 zone. No. No, people. That's not the way life works. You gotta, you gotta follow the speed limit, okay? Like, that's just not the way life works. So, yeah, that's basically all my advice. Remember to hit the subscribe button. And like my channel, or a dead spider will crawl in your mouth when you're sleeping. Alright, have a good day. And also, your dog will be taken if you don't subscribe right now. Stop, stop recording button. And remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.